Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. If this is your first time here, welcome, my name is Lydia. And if you're one of my amazing returning subscribers, welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing Coach Dreams by Coach. So if you guys want to see this review, go ahead and stay tuned. <music> Now y'all, this is a fragrance that I was curious about and a little bit on the fence about for a while now. They had this for a while at Ulta and every time I would go on the site, I would see it. And I looked at the notes of it and I was just like, okay, it sounds interesting, but it almost sounded like any other fruity floral fragrance. And I actually came across this in a Ross one day. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up and try it. So let me show you guys what the box looks like up close. I love this really, really cute pink glitter, and it almost has a little bit of a slightly smooth finish, so you don't have to worry about any of the glitter coming off on your hands, so I really like that as well. And it's just a nice, fun, bright package. So let me show you guys what the actual bottle looks like up close. So that is what the bottle looks like up close. The bottle in itself kind of has a pretty basic design to it, but definitely my favorite feature of this fragrance is the actual sprayer because it is an actual flower. And I really like that. I think it's very cool that it's shaped like that. I love fragrance bottles that don't have caps, but actually have the sprayer built in. Once I opened it up and realized that that's what it was, I was very excited. Now this is a fairly new fragrance. It was launched in 2020. This is classified as a fruity floral fragrance. The top notes of this fragrance include pear, fruits, and bitter orange. In the middle notes, there's gardenia and cactus flower. And in the base notes, there's ambrosian and woody notes. So let's go ahead and give this a spray and see how it smells. Now, even though this is classified as a fruity floral scent, in my opinion, this is definitely more of a floral scent. I really don't get too many fruity notes at all. It's almost like there's a very, very strong rose note in here somewhere. I know it wasn't listed, but you can definitely smell it as soon as you spray this fragrance. You definitely get the cactus flower and the gardenia. And because of those floral notes, it almost gives almost like a powdery finish to this fragrance. And you definitely get a hint of the woody notes in the base as well. When you spray it, it almost smells like you're walking into a florist shop. It is a very, very floral fragrance. If you're somebody who loves florals, especially white florals, or fragrances that have more of a powdery note to them, this is definitely one that you definitely need to check out. Because of the freshness and those really strong floral notes in this fragrance, I definitely feel like this is more suited for the spring and the summer months. I mean, you can definitely work it into any occasion year round, but I feel like it will work better in the spring and summer months when things are blooming, when it's hot, and things like that. I'm typically not into really strong floral fragrances, but this, there's something different and special about this fragrance. I can't really pinpoint what it is. Even though it's very floral, it doesn't smell too mature if that makes sense. Because I know a lot of times floral scents, they can kind of be geared towards a more mature crowd. But I feel like there are elements of this fragrance that kind of make it a little bit more youthful. It's a very, very pretty scent. I could definitely see someone wearing this to either like a spring or summer wedding or just an outdoor special occasion during the spring or the summer months. That would be absolutely stunning. This is a very, very pretty scent, and I'm so happy that I added it to my collection because I don't really have too many just floral scents. I love a good fruity floral, but a lot of times most of those fruity floral fragrances that I own, the fruit is the main attraction. You don't really smell too many of those floral notes. But with this one, even though it is considered a fruity floral. Those floral notes are pretty much all you get throughout this fragrance. Now this is the 1.3 ounce. I'm pretty sure this fragrance comes in three different sizes. The 1 ounce, the 1.3, and then the 3 ounce. 
And I think you might also be able to pick it up in a purse spray as well. And I kind of couldn't believe it, but this is actually my very first Coach fragrance. When I was younger, I used to love Coach Poppy, but I never actually purchased a bottle of it. So I'm pretty happy that now I actually have a Coach fragrance in my collection. So y'all, if any of you guys have tried Coach Dreams, let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section. And as always, I will have this fragrance linked below in the description box. So if any of you guys want to pick it up and try it out for yourselves, you can. So y'all, that was my review of Coach, Coach Dreams. I hope that you guys really, really enjoyed this video. And as always, I hope to see all of you guys next time. Bye.